This is our third video in the Book Creator series, and today we're going to focus on editing the content and using the inspector. So last time we started making this book about important people in American history, and this is geared more for first grade based on their social studies content, and it's content that we want our first graders to know and understand, and we're going to create this book that's personalized just for them. So what we're going to focus on first is text options. Now as you can see here, I have Our Great Country, and then the United States is a great country. We've had many important men and women help to make this country great. Now, I want our great country to stand out. I kind of want this to be almost like a text feature. So we can, we can use the little circles on each side to kind of you know, widen it, but that's not what I want. I want to make it bigger and bolder and, and brighter. So we're going to use the um, text inspector, which is the little eye with a circle in the top right. We're going to click on that. And because my text is highlighted, there's several options we can do. We can change the size. I do want to definitely change the size so it stands out. You can make it bold. You can italicize it or underline it. I think I just want to make mine bold. You can change the font to whatever you would like, whatever is best for you and for your needs. You can change the color of it, whatever color you would like. The background color is putting like, you know, just some color behind the text in that text box there. And then a shadow is just kind of giving your words a shadow. All right. And then of course you can align the text in your text box whoever you think looks best. And so I'm going to kind of just make it a little bigger. Kind of like mine, just, just simple like that. Now another thing that you can do is you have page options. So both of my, my left and my right page right now are white but we can actually change the, the, the color of the page. By doing that, make sure you're just not selected on anything. You want to select just a page. You're going to hit the same inspector, which is that eye in the top right corner. And then you can change the, the uh, colors of the pages. I do want to change this. Let's see, because it's a book about America, I'm thinking maybe something, maybe like a light blue. That's purple. Let's see what that looks like. So I can choose just to make this page blue. I can make the other page white, and actually because it looks so good in blue, I'm actually going to change the color of my text to white. This can make it really pop. There you go. And then just some shortcuts I want to show you, um, because as I'm editing this book and kind of working on it, let's say I want to take this, uh, this chapter title, American People, Important People in American History. I'm going to move it to the next page. So what I'm going to do is push my finger on it, and then hold, and then you have four options. Cutting means I'm going to take the image, it's going to copy it, and then I can paste it right on my next page, wherever I'd want it. And there it is. And actually, I want to move this Abraham Lincoln, so I'm going to put this in this chapter here, paste it there, move it down there. So as you can see, so let's take our George Washington, let's cut it, and then we're just going to paste it there. So you see how we do that? You know, we're just going to cut it and paste it. There we go. And then what I want to do is let's cut this one and let's move this one to I want to add a new page because I'm going to do three people we're going to focus on. All right. So there we go. So those are what those those four options allow you to do. Cut, copy, paste, and lock. And the lock option just means if you lock it, that means you just can't move the text or the image that you have right there. So in this chapter, we showed you how to edit the content, which included text, the pages, and some shortcuts. Thanks for